Hey, it's John Foss. We're talking with Eliza Coop and Derek Wilson about season two of Future Man. Guys, tell us where season two picks up. Uh, season two picks up where season one left off. Yep. Uh, we travel to the future, to 2162, which is where we originally came from, but the future looks different from the way we left it because of what we did in season one. <laughs> Real ripple effect situation. Yeah. I think it's really interesting right now with streaming and how the whole TV thing has changed because something this awesome would never be on network TV back in the day. Tell us how this whole thing came to be. Ariel Shafir and Kyle Hunter created it and I believe it was supposed to be a movie. It was supposed, it was originally a screenplay and they, I believe, handed it to Seth. Yeah, Seth and Rogan. Evan. And then they were like, they turned it into a TV show. Yeah. Yeah. I've never read us. that screenplay. I'd love to, though. I know. I would, too. So you guys play Tiger and Wolf. Tell me about your characters. I'm the uh, commander. Yeah. Yep. And he's my soldier. I'm a demolitions expert. Uh, in season two, I mean, as far as Wolf goes, uh, Wolf is very adaptable. Uh, and so he sort of will rise to any occasion. Uh, and um, in season two, he's met with, you know, even more challenges and uh, <laughs> uh, rises to those challenges to comedic effect, <laughs> hopefully. Oh. Yes, the comedy definitely lands very well. And one thing that's very interesting about the show is the wardrobe is very elaborate, very cool. Tell us about the wardrobe. I, I, I spend a lot of time in 50s garb, 40s, 50s, which is, which is fun. Um, and then, well, our, our warrior outfits were yeah. incredible and very heavy to wear. Very uncomfortable. Really uncomfortable. Things just, there's so many cuts. <laughs> so many cuts all over the body. Yeah. No, I was just going to say, and you know, in season one, I spent a lot of time in the 80s, which was really fun. But... Uh, Season you two. wear it well, though. You wear it well. well it's, it's very natural for that's, you. That's what I've, I've, I've worked on right. to look good. In, well, in you're in your early 60s, <laughs> so you know the 80s really well. The 80s were my it time. It was early 60s, yeah. uh, truth be told. <laughs> uh, but see, in season two, uh, it, you know, since it's the future, the wardrobe is more uh, um, uh, created for, you know, it's, it's like not an existing time, obviously. So Yeah. Um, it's just oh, right. we got to have a lot yeah. more fun with it. And I, I have a whole other whole she, other character she, yeah. that I wear. Her the wardrobe most in season two is insane. Insane clothes. Yeah. Again, not comfortable. Nothing I've worn on this show is comfortable except for um, I wear a bathrobe once. <laughs> that was that was a great day. Another thing that's really cool about the show are the sets. Tell me about the sets. Are they real? Are they is there a lot of green screen involved? How do you guys make this happen with making those sets look so great? The sets are, I mean, God, we were always blown away by them. They were just... Um, yeah, a lot of them are built. They're, most of them are built, yeah. Yeah, um, especially in season two. Uh, but yeah, in season one, like the sewer and everything, that's all... That's all built. That's the, all built. The James Cameron the house was completely... That was built. That yeah. was incredible. Yeah. And speaking of James Cameron, there's a lot of Terminator references in this show. Why is that? We're all just looking to get a job <laughs> yeah. from James Cameron. So we're we just, figure by by just blatantly making fun of him, that's the best way in. Yeah. We're just fans. We're just fans. So, you know, and we know the, the movies pretty well. I mean, especially the writers know the movies really well. Right. Um, <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, we're just fans, and we would like jobs. Yeah, we'd like jobs <laughs> from James Cameron. And Derek, you before the show, you were in Preacher, and they killed off your character. I mean, was that something that made you sad to see the character go, or were you happy because obviously these guys were like, hey, this guy's great, we need him in a leading role? I don't know if they killed me off to be a part of this show. It just happened all in one day. I found all, out about <laughs> all of it in one day. Uh, so I don't know that that was the reason, but it all worked out. I loved being a part of Preacher. Uh, I love all those guys on that show, and... and uh, had a great time, and, and I'm very happy to be a part of this show now. So that's the diplomatic way to say it. Yeah, that's a very diplomatic way to say it. <laughs> What's it like working with Seth Rogen? Is he, is he the same guy that we see on screen, or behind the scenes, is he more of like a serious Seth Rogen? I mean, he's, he's serious because when he's you know, directing, and he really knows what he's doing, which is awesome. He's, he's, he's 
he's great to work with yeah. um, as a director. He's very, I mean, he knows his stuff. and. But he's still fun. I mean, he's still he's Super still great. Super fun, really impressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just knows his stuff. This focused, season, focused, very focused and precise. This season, we got to act with him too, which was really fun. He's mm -hmm. in the show. Um, yep. And uh, yeah, he's uh, yeah he's super fun to have around. Yeah. He's he's pretty much what you see on screen. Yeah, yeah and that la his is. laugh. You know, you've done a good job if you hear his laugh. Yeah. And you know that it's going to get cut if you don't hear the laugh. <laughs> Yeah, he's definitely got that laugh where regardless of whether or not you're looking, if you're kind of if you're doing your scene, if you hear it in the background, you still you're gonna know that that's Seth. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, and you hear it, you hear it throughout the the soundstage. <laughs> it's a very big laugh. <laughs> and Eliza, another very cool thing about you, I heard you were in Disaster Artist, even though I know you mentioned that in an interview that uh, that it was your part was cut out, but still just to be a part of that project, what was that like? It was great. It was one day I shot one day. I, I, I don't. I did not make it in the film, uh, which was fine. I get it. It wasn't a very, you know, really wasn't moving the story, story forward. So, um, but it was really fun. Um, it was interesting to be directed by James Franco when he looked totally different. It didn't even look like him. That was, uh, that was interesting. But it was great. It was really fun. What was your role? I played an editor. Have you guys seen The Room and what did you think? I thought it was a masterpiece. It's his favorite film. He thinks it's a... It's a really well done. Yeah. Yeah. He's writing a movie right now and he's hoping, Ooh, fingers crossed, it'll be as good. I'm writing a movie about the making of The Room. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, Eliza and Derek, I could talk to you guys all day. They're telling me I need to go. Appreciate the time. Everybody, make sure you check out Thank Future you. Man Season 2. It's on Hulu right now. That's right. Friday. Thanks. Thank Thanks for you. watching.